If we look here, we can actually spot which grass uh, is at work. Yeah, I think you could for sure. Uh, so our plots are the area with the light brown grasses that you can see. It may be better known for its bustling airspace, but Pearson International Airport is making waves in the science community, playing host to a new study looking at how plants can be used to filter contaminants like road salt out of the surrounding environment. Part of our environmental program or our environmental policy focus area is natural environment. So uh, we want to make sure that, you know, as we operate a facility, um, all the natural environment around us is, you know, protected. The project is a collaboration between Queen's University, Royal Military College of Canada and the Toronto and Region Conservation Authority. Now, while the airport isn't directly involved in the study, it offers the ideal testing conditions with long, regularly salted roadways around the property that are close to green space and waterways. The TRCA is using Pearson's real world environment to grow four species of test grass, which were planted in June of 2022. You, you, usually you can go and take a walk in grass. Is it okay if we go and, and take a, a stroll in there? Yeah, for sure. Let's go check them out. Okay, so watch your footing here. The four species are in the four plots here. This project is part of the world of phytotechnology, meaning solutions to scientific or engineering problems using plants. The Conservation Authority is saying they're taking samples from both the soil and the plants to evaluate which species are most effective. What we hope is that this research can actually inform um, design of, of new roads, even existing roads, to be able to have these species in some of these roadside conditions. I use plants to remediate all kinds of different contaminants. Meanwhile, Barbara Zeeb is a professor at the Royal Military College working on the project and president of the International Phytotechnology Society. She says two types of plants are being tested here. One that pulls salt out of the soil and stores it inside the plant for the rest of its life. Those plants are great, but we do need to harvest them um, to actually remove the salt from the from the system. The other type excretes the salt on its surface where it crystallizes and is eventually carried off by the wind. In general, we don't want to disperse and dilute contaminants. But in the case of salts, all of these minerals are actually plant nutrients. And so at lower concentrations, they serve as a fertilizer. As for whether it looks promising to replicate and scale up. We have several years of data that are really showing some promising results. And we're starting to work with organizations that want to add these to the seed mixes in their in their roadside plans. The end date of the study is not fixed and will depend on how long it takes to collect the data. At Pearson Airport, David Zura, City News.